Investigative reporter from Infowars.com Alex Jones has quite a following in Greece. One of the most popular blogs has set up a forum with questions sent in by individuals that they would like answered by Alex Jones. I'm glad to say that he joins us on the line now. Finance Minister George Papakonstandinou has said that opposition parties must assume their responsibility and vote in favor of the austerity measures, otherwise the country will go bankrupt in two weeks. A question from the forum from Exile is, do you know who would suffer losses if Greece defaulted on its debt? Well, look, this is what the IMF and World Bank, the private uh, holding companies for the private central banks, does over and over again. They've done it in Argentina, they've done it in Nigeria, They've done it to hundreds of nations over and over again, and it's always the same story. Back in 2002, BBC reporter Greg Palast got secret IMF and World Bank documents, which just confirmed what we already knew. They go in, they sell derivatives, they sell bad investments to governments, intending, and now we have the Goldman Sachs email showing this here in the United States, intending to destroy your country. Then they come in with financial terrorism, and uh, they control your finance ministers and others, and they say, look, we've got a political gun to your head, a financial gun to your head. If you don't give us half your pension funds, if you don't let us raise all these taxes, if you don't give your infrastructure over to the private central banks, who, who literally just created all this debt out of nothing, you're going to have a worse depression. And then most nations capitulate the first time. Then years later, there's another collapse. Then they take the rest of your pension fund. So it's the mafia. You must say no to them now. It's going to be painful. It's going to be very hard on your country. But unless you kick them out and say no like Iceland has done, it is only going to get worse. Notice how as soon as the EU said, okay, we'll give the $146.5 billion uh, in U.S. dollars, over $100 billion in euros, that suddenly Portugal and Spain started imploding. That's because the bankers said, okay, they bought it in Greece. Now let's start ripping off other people in Southern Europe. And the same thing's happening here in the United States. $28 trillion has been stolen, and now they're saying they want to take even more of our rights and our freedom, and they're saying they're going to raise our taxes and cut our services. They're not even going to fix the roads. They're going to fire the teachers. Bloomberg's reporting that the feds are moving to start taking part or all of private pension funds. This is a global banking mafia that is holding you hostage, and it's going to be bad if you don't do what the bankers say, and it's going to be bad if you do what they say, but in the long run, it's going to be much worse if you go along with what they're saying. You must remove the Goldman Sachs dictatorship. Uh, You know, you guys had Hitler invade and take over, and he finally got kicked out. This is a financial empire. You must kick the Goldman Sachs Nazis out of your country. You must remove the central bankers. You must call for criminal indictments of your corrupt government. You must remove this coup d'etat from your nation. Who would suffer losses if Greece defaulted on its debt? Well, again, we go to Iceland. They claim the public owed this money, but Iceland said no, and now it's been revealed that it's the big private banks, J.P. Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, Bank of England, Federal Reserve... Uh, member banks in the West, uh, in England, in the United States, that would basically have the losses. What they do is they create crud, fake counterfeit financial instruments. They certify it. They have insurance companies they own, like AIG, certify it. They then sell it, and we have the Goldman Sachs emails, to the nations, to the individuals, to bankrupt you. And that's the trick. They make money on the way up. Then they hold you hostage with a financial weapon they've created and basically make you become debt slaves or they threaten to plunge you into uh, into depression. You will be in a permanent depression. You will be completely rendered down to third world status and financial domination unless you say no. So it's kind of like a leg that has gangrene. There's no saving your leg. You don't want to chop it off, but you got to chop it off or your whole body's going to die. Now, Divine Sinner would like to know if Greece is under economic occupation so that it can later be manipulated to fall under geopolitical occupation. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, if you look at Chile, if you look at just nations all over the world, you see that it's Goldman Sachs operators. They're the main group. They're the inner coterie of crooks uh, in all the positions of power. We see it in New Zealand. We see it in Greece. We see it in Iceland. We see it in England. We see it in the United States. And so 
this is occupation. This is political domination. And, and they force the population of the United States, of England, of Greece, of, uh, of every country to invest in these pension funds. And, of course, they're never going to let you have your whole pension fund. I mean, they'll have the public begging for 10 or 15 percent of the money that's yours if they have their way. So they are holding you hostage. This is 21st century conquest, financial domination, and you're already under geopolitical domination, and they are just fully taking your country over. I mean, they're telling your nation, give us uh, the Parthenon, give us your islands, uh, give us the Acropolis, give us everything. Give us your entire country, just like they've done in Africa, Latin America, and Asia, and they're now doing that here. Our national parks are being turned over to the United Nations. Our, our ports are being turned over to the United Nations. Again, this is a private interest that's doing this.